Hi hey everyone, welcome back. Arrival announced yesterday that it has produced the first production verification vehicle from its Bicester micro factory. Arrival produced the first van in a micro factory using in-house technology including composite materials, autonomous mobile robots, in-house components and a software defined factory. Now the milestone is a big stepping stone towards a scale production and delivering vehicles to its customers. And we do have a quote from the CEO, Dennis Swerlov, and I quote, Today is an important day for arrival. This is the first time a vehicle has ever been built in our micro factory, using a new method that does not use traditional assembly lines. Although we have not yet achieved serial production, we are focused on making it happen. We will continue to produce vehicle in our micro factory in order to master at scale production. The CEO also had this to say, it has been more difficult than we initially imagined, and I thank the team for the immense amount of effort, technology, innovative breakthroughs, and problem solving. Now, the arrival brand produced this year and of company's first micro factory in Bicester, UK, will be used for continued testing, validation, and quality control rather than being sold to customers. Now, further information will be provided on arrival's Q3 earning. This will be held on Tuesday, the 8th of November, 2022. Now, the van arrives almost two months after the UK-based publicly traded company said it would shelve its plan for electric bus to focus on developing the vans. The move has actually forced the company to cut its 2022 delivery target by 95% from 400 vehicles to only 20 vehicles. Arrival also announced that at the time, it has no longer expected to generate revenue in 2022 after reporting wider losses for a second quarter. The company has faced several production delays since going public in March 2021 through a $660 million SPAC deal. Now, this also includes a class action lawsuit against the company and costing cutting measures that include wide scale layoffs. And due to all of this happening, the CEO had this to say, and I quote, we're switching from the mode where we have two products, two shifts, two micro factories, to the mode where it's one factory, one shift, one product. We believe that this opportunity to switch gives us a better chance to be successful. Now, due to all of this information, on Friday, we did see a small jump in the share price, but it was only a small jump. The price jumped from 78 cents to as high as 85 cents, but that quickly ended the day at 80 cents flat. And that's how Arrival Trading Week was ended. Now it's important to know that Arrival market cap is literally $515 million. This company is worth half a billion dollar. And that seems about reasonable due to the fact that they've been having so many issues. Now starting next week from Monday to Friday, we will try to understand how the stock will perform during next week. But as for now, it's the weekend, so we won't be getting any proper indication. Now, truth to be told, Arrival does have a difficult future ahead of itself. The best that we can hope for Arrival for this year is 20 vehicles being completed in production. And we've got three months left until the end of the year because today is the 1st of October. So Q3 is now officially over. We are officially now in Q4. Now, while I think the Arrival products are absolutely brilliant, I just think that this company needs a lot more funding so they can create more micro factories and they can start producing more vehicles. But now that the rival plan is quite simplified, they're working on one product and one product only. This was a very difficult decision for a rival to make. However, I completely understand this decision. It makes complete sense. Next year, 2023, that will be the real test for a rival. How many vehicles will they be able to produce? How many vehicles will they be able to sell to their buyers, such as UPS? Next year will not be an easy year for Arrival. This year, it's all about testing, ramping up the factory, getting it prepared for next year. Next year will be the big test. Next year is the year where we could be seeing Arrival vehicles officially on the road, being driven around by different companies. But it won't be the buses. It won't be the Arrival car. It will be the arrival van and i think this was a perfect thing for arrival to do because the delivery van is their most needed vehicle by consumers it's their most needed vehicle by the general public i believe for now the delivery van is their main product that they should be focusing on and that's exactly what they plan to do so i'm happy to see that they're going into the right direction i'm just slightly worried that i don't believe that they have enough funding 
So at the moment, Arrival desperately needs new funding. They need more funding for more companies and more individuals, which means that they'll have to go around and start selling more shares of their company. They'll have to go around and start persuading more people to invest in the Arrival company. I think the sooner they can get these vehicles on the road, the delivery vans, I think the sooner and better that they can start getting some more investors in this company. And that's all going to be happening next year. So I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. And I'll see you in our next video.